Hey there, it's Brittany Chavers. I'm back today with Jesse James Beads and this new summer mermaid grotto bead mix. And we're going to be making three pairs of earrings ranging from uh, pretty easy to intermediate. Uh, this mix is super duper cute and I can't wait to jump in. All of my favorite blues are in there. You know, I love turquoise. So our first earring is going to be the easiest earring. I'm going to use this half acrylic, half wood charm. I am also going to use this um, little seahorse charm, super duper cute, with a little crystal in its eye. And then a um, turquoise starfish. I'm also going to be using some 22 gauge Beadalon um, German style wire today. We're going to do some wire wrapping. Um, nothing too, um, nothing too complicated, but this is the easiest of the three pairs that we're making today. Just need a little piece and I'm going to start by doing a wire wrapped loop at one end. I'm going to take my round nose pliers, just start a loop. And grab it with my flat nose part of the pliers and wrap that around just a couple times. You don't need too many. We'll cut that wire. And I'm going to take the starfish and the portion that has the um, hole at the top of the starfish is the part that I'm going to load on to my wire. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to do. Um, a straight wire wrapped loop up against a it's kind of like side drilled out the the right side of the speed so we're just gonna start by slipping the loop on that end and we've got a perfect loop now I'm just going to do another loop at the bottom like that again I'm gonna grab it and twist or just bring wrap that around my wire at the base just a couple times you're not going to be able to get all the way down in there so i'm just going to snip it after i've done a couple wraps like that and i have a little jump ring i'm just going to open this jump ring up And then I am going to slide on my charms. And then I am going to slide on the other side, the bottom of that starfish. Close that jump ring up. And then I have a little ear wire. You can use any type of ear wire you you prefer. Close that up. And here is our first pair of super duper cute ocean inspired earrings. I love the sea creatures on this one, the starfish and the um, little seahorse. It's so cute. All right, I've no cut another longer piece of wire and we're gonna take a um, gold cowrie shell from the mix. I am going to place part of my wire in the front and then kind of right where I think the middle would be, I'm gonna bend it um, around to the back. So this is what our shell looks like at the moment. Now you have a couple options. You could just wire wrap one of the um, wires around the other or you can twist them whatever you desire I'm gonna go ahead and twist these two okay now we're not gonna be twisting them all the way up I'm just doing a little bit of a twist and then I'm gonna take my nippers and nip this wire so we just have one wire coming up and a little bit of a twist now if you wanted to twist it all the way up that's totally up to you and then you could just wire wrap it as one with a, a braided look um, i'm gonna go ahead and bend that back we're gonna see a couple uh, uh, we're gonna see this separate from the other 
wire for a in a little bit, but that's okay. I'm planning on that happening. So I'm bringing this down and we're creating a loop and I'm just going to snip that part that is coming off. So no worries there. We're going to have to do it again. And then I am just going to do a wire wrapped loop here. So we have a messy loop that's whatever you'd like it to look like is up to you if you want it to be messy, if you want it to be uniform. And then like I said, there's going to be a third cut. It's just because that starts separating a little bit. There we go. We have a loop. I'm going to pull this to the back and clip that. Next, I'm going to take some more wire and I am going to make a loop. But I am going to slip that onto my loop here before I close it up. And we'll just wire wrap that closed. Then I have this beautiful blue crystal. Um, a sea urchin looking spacer. And a coated bead that looks like sea foam. And then I am going to do another wire wrapped loop. Snip that in the back, grab an ear wire, and then here is our cute little pair um, that just looks like you're kind of descending down into the ocean and then you find a shell. Love that. And then last but certainly not least, we're going to do a variation of what we just did with that cowrie shell. But instead of putting the shell in the middle first, I am going to make a wire wrapped loop first, but it's not gonna be at the end like we normally do. It's gonna be more towards the middle. I think I might've cut a little, probably a little bit too much wire, but that's okay. We're just gonna do a loop here. Like that, grab it. Go ahead and do a couple little spins around. Okay, and we still have two pieces. I'm gonna put a little bit of a notch back here. There we go. So we have our loop and we have our cowrie shell. And instead of just having there be um, having the cowrie shell be the end piece, this is going to have a dangle off of the end. So that's why we made our loop there. Then we're going to go ahead and um, instead of twisting like I did before, I am just going to wire wrap one wire around the other and then um, create a wire wrapped loop at the top. Now I just really want to make sure that this is secure. So I'm trying to pull it down as much as possible. I am going to bring this one around a couple times and then I am going to snip my wire then I have this cute little glass bead and I am just going to do a wire wrap loop to top that off
I'm going to take a jump ring. Hook it onto the bottom here. And then I have two pieces from the box. I have this wonderful acrylic um, glittery mermaid tail. And I want to make sure that I'm doing it. This is going to have to turn a little bit. And I just want to make sure that that tail is going to hang the correct direction. So we'll put our jump ring on, put on our starfish. And then our cute little mermaid tail. Close that up. And we have a show-stopping pair of mermaid shell earrings. I love these. I seriously can't pick a favorite, but um, maybe you can. I'm going to include photos of all of the earrings that we made today. And uh, I just want to say thank you to Jesse James Beads for having me back. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.